Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another DAO. But wait, I know what you might be thinking. DAO season is already dead. We've been through DAO apocalypse. And yes, this is true. But this DAO right here, in my opinion, is very likely to stay, to remain active, working. Uh, and let me explain you why in today's video. And of course, as you've seen from the title, we are going to be talking about Redacted Cartel. If you have no idea what Redacted Cartel is, the first thing uh, when you start looking into it, the first thing you're going to think is that it's just another Olympus DAO fork. And that might make you feel unmotivated to look into it further. And the reason is that they are on the Ethereum mainnet, so gas fees as well are something discouraging. You're not going to want to invest your money right there considering the high gas fees but wait let me go through some of the reasons why redacted uh, is no longer just a gnome fork but it has actual utility and let me show you what they're planning to do and how big brain five head giga chad they are and their plan is so without further ado let's get right into it so we are right here on redacted cartel the website is redactedcartel.xyz so once you get right here you connect your metamask you will see this page right here and it's pretty much a normal dap it has the dashboard you can stake you can bond you can wrap there's auctions the forum and the docs the dashboard is really cool because it brings you to dune if you don't know dune it's an analytics website where you can look at a bunch of websites analytics, stats, and data like that. So when you go right here, you can see all the supply, fully diluted supply, all the data for uh, Redacted, which is great. This is a good, good website for you to do your uh, research before you start investing into a platform. So we're not gonna be looking at this for long, just because we're not gonna analyze, do the research on the distribution of the butterfly token or the treasury but i'm just gonna explain you give you some details on what redacted is and what are their plans now especially with an update that they are going to be launching so redacted pretty much has the same mechanisms as ohm as a treasury but what they're trying to do is they're trying to also participate and dominate the curve wars if you don't know anything about the curve wars i've made a video a kind of a documentary explaining the curve wars in detail and it's going to be right here on the top right corner you can just watch it and it will clear your mind and you make you understand what is going on and what are curve wars so they have a nice explanation about um, the whole project so let's read it together once you go into their mirror page, you will see that it says introducing redacted. In theory, with the butterfly effect, a small change can result in large differences. Of course, if you've seen uh, the butterfly effect, the movie, which I think there's also a second one, you know this phrase right here that if a butterfly moves its wings somewhere in the world on the other side, it will cause a hurricane. Something like that. I don't know how it is the translation in English. But anyways, let's see how they explain the functional the functionality of their platform. In its, in its short lifespan, Curve Finance has established itself as one of the key building blocks in the DeFi ecosystem, utilizing its DAO engage mechanism as a gatekeeper for success among some of the fastest growing protocol in DeFi, such as Convex and Abracadabra. Yet, many participants are not aware of the full extent of Curve's influence in DeFi. Of course, I explained that on my video, so you can go check it out, where basically Curve is dominating the market because it is dominating liquidity for stablecoins. And stablecoins play a significant and very important role in DeFi. And because Curve is dominating stablecoins, then of course they all are also dominating DeFi itself. Being the black hole for liquidity that it is, anyone who has experimented with DeFi protocols will find that quite a few of those dApps use Curve to source liquidity and yield without even rec recognizing it. So 
Redacted Cartel is an initiative using the POL mechanism of Olympus DAO to accumulate as much liquidity as possible from the Curve ecosystem in order to have the majority say over the Curve gauge. The cartel does not aim to act maliciously, rather gamify and decentralize the process of bringing the gauge through a DAO. Using concepts from the Olympus model will make the black hole for CRV, CVX and Curve LP tokens and manifest a DAO that has a majority say in the Curve gauge. The first DAO political party redacted gauge as a service. Why not? So if that's confusing to you, let me try to briefly explain it. What they want to do is build a treasury like Wonderland did, like Olympus DAO did. But what they want to do with this treasury is different from any other DAO. They want to get this treasury and buy as much curve token so they can stake that curve token, get the V, which is the voting escrow curve token, which gives them the rewards, the fees for locking up the CRV, but of course gives them voting power to decide where rewards go to each pools so they can vote on the gauge. And why would they want to do that? They want to control the curve gauge mechanism. They want to control it by using DAO format, which is where people can vote and unanimously they will vote for that pool which is something like the bribes we see right now, but they want to do it using the DAO mechanism and the DAO treasury. Basically, this is what they're doing. But sir, why? Just over a year ago, when Curve Governance first released, the protocol started issuing CRV rewards to LP talk to LP holders in order to accumulate more stable coins and fees, which in turn further bolstered Curve as the hub for high liquidity, efficiency and yield. Like most of the tokens on DeFi, CRV has its main use case in governance over the protocol. Token holders are required to lock CRV for VECRV, Vault Escrow CRV, which acts as the illiquid access to token governance mechanism. I'm not going to read through the uh, more complicated math, but of course, for you to have uh, voting power and voting rights on Curve, you need to lock up your CRV which you can do from weeks all the way up to four years. Of course, this makes the token illiquid. You cannot sell it until the locking period is over. So it has good functionality, but it is illiquid. So how do you fix something being illiquid? Well, this is what Butterfly, the Butterfly token is here for. And it explains right here, we will rally around the redacted cartel to bring this vision of decentralizing the curve gauge to life. Redacted incentivizes bonding tokens from the curve ecosystem into our treasury in exchange for the butterfly token. Each butterfly token is backed by value from the curve ecosystem locked in the DAO treasury. So what they're saying is instead of you locking up your CRV, give it to them and then you will have butterfly. With Butterfly, you have liquidity because you can buy and sell Butterfly as much as you want. It's liquid. The good thing is that you don't have to lock up your vote. You don't have to lock up your CRV. The bad thing is that you won't have all these fees, all these rewards from having these, the governance token on Curve. But you will be repaid because Redacted has a very, very high APY. So it says right here, this strategies employed through bonding allow Redacted to accumulate voting power in the curve gauge and utilize that power to vote on behalf of minters, ensuring their interests are best represented in the curve gauge. In addition to an aggregation of voting power when utilizing Curve LP tokens to mint butterfly, users are receiving a maximized yield and are, in possession, and are in possession of a liquid token that is securely backed by stable assets. So this was their introduction, but now they have an update, an update that will revamp this DAO and I think will bring back the price of redacted of butterfly, which right now is very, very low we can see right now the price of butterfly. It has been, it was steady for the longest time between two and a half, three thousand dollars $3,000. But then when we started having the Dow apocalypse, everything started to go down. Now it is at around $500. It is between uh, 300 
and seven hundred dollars it has been going up and down up and down but then they launched they're going to introduce some called the hidden hand let me tell you what this is uh, introducing the hidden hand marketplace it's time to review the new use case for butterfly that we've been work working on an extension of the cartel that will empower the protocol to become the forefront of DeFi bribes the hidden hand bribe mark marketplace hidden hand enables protocols with vote escrow tokens to access a marketplace that lets others bribe bribe their token holders for the vote for their best interest so if you still didn't get it, what they're trying to do right here is create something like bribe from uh, your finance or something like Vodium. So, you know, Vodium, of course, is from Convex and bribe, of course, is from your finance is a is an extension of your finance. What you basically do, you get bribed by, for example, right here by uh, protocols to vote for their pools and then you get their uh, respective native tokens so for example right here we're playing we're getting paid in spell for us to vote for magic internet money three pool right here we get paid in duck for us to vote for usp usdp three curve right here we get crv for us to vote for crv eth so on and so forth and vodium is the same thing but with convex so what basically this hidden hand is, is going to be a marketplace like that, but not only for curve or convex. What I want to do is whatever VE, whatever voting escrow token any platform has, and they want to bribe people to get this, get this token to stake it, to incentivize liquidity on other pools or whatever, they can do it through the hidden hand. This goes further than just curve or convex. So it is a very very good marketplace for it to be and if it starts growing it might be even the leading marketplace out there for people who want to uh, bribe users to vote for their tokens then it says cash flow is king currently butterfly holders are able to access access diversified index of governance tokens but are not able to either leverage on their underlying voting power efficiently in the treasury in the treasury nor receive worthwhile bribes and revenue on their tokens with our new hidden hand marketplace we will create a bribe platform on top of the DAO that lets protocols create market via markets for their ve tokens where redacted captures a fee that is distributed back to lockers of the butterfly token examples tokamak creating a market for protocols to bribe toke holders to vote for new core reactors and toke rewards little creating a market for layer wants to bribe little holders to vote for new validators supports and little rewards sushi creating a market for early stage projects to bribe sushi holders to vote for sushi rewards on their lp so you can see they are very very flexible the idea of that marketplace is to be for not only curve but also for other dials for other platforms hidden hand will be enabled by our recent acquisition of vote mac where users can select which tokmac reactor they want to help enable Protocols deposit a bribe into the Hidden Hand smart contract, which are sent back to users as the reward for their voting power. So this is going to be all automated. For voters, there's no cost to using Hidden Hand. Instead, the reacted protocol generates revenue by taking a fee from each bribe. The fee is currently set to 4% where half is sent to the treasury to increase the backing per butterfly and half is sent to lockers of butterfly as a bonus api for locking their tokens in the protocol so whoever has locked butterfly will get these bribe rewards these bribe fees that get split from that four percent and now butterfly will have two extra tokens which is going to be the governance token and the bribe locked token so bl butterfly bribe locked is the most practical use for retail users looking to receive their inflow of bribes from hidden hand and revenue generated by the protocol through bonds and use governance butterfly governance locked butterfly is more of a DAO facing product where DAOs acquiring butterfly can leverage our protocols voting power for their own internal needs such as setting up cvx rewards for the curve pool in initializing a tokmac reactor or creating an olympus pro bonding program the revenue generated from 
the protocol that is not captured by the the governance locked butterfly is pushed to the bribed locked butterfly stakers both vote locked tokens will have governance rights over the redacted protocol and the hidden hand platform so you can either get rewards by having the governance token or the bribe token both will get rewards different ways but they're both will be giving you rewards so right here we have this picture and it explains how the the model of the butterfly uh, of the redacted cartel works and the hidden hand functionality that will give so it explains right here for butterfly holders user bonds their cvx crv toke etc to the redacted dow treasury and receive butterfly at discounted rate users lock their butterfly to either get governance locked butterfly or bribe locked butterfly for 16 weeks governance butterfly holders get access to meta governance votes of the underlying cvx or other assets within the treasury bribe butterfly holders get access to fees from hidden hand and yield farming rewards from the treasuries or other token holders users lock their relevant governance tokens in their protocols in the protocols ve token system and delegated to hidden hand to get bribed for their vote external protocols looking for rewards on votes on their token bribes the relevant pool on hidden hand hidden hand will auto select the vote distribution that yields the highest bribe value bribe rewards goes back to users who locked their tokens four percent fee is taken by the protocol and sent equally to lockers of bribe butterfly and the redacted treasury and we can see right here they are waiting and finalizing the project and it's going to be across eth arbitrum and phantom so this is going to be a very nice functionality that they are working on and i do agree that if they do that and if this catches it will become as important as convex and bribe curve present right now in the market of course if you've seen my curve video which again you can find it on the top right corner you can see that they already are fourth in the list of who has the majority of the curve tokens in the market and from what we can see they in five six months are going to be top two just under convex because convex now owns the majority then we have badger then we have frax and then we have redacted and i see that by the way they are accumulating as fast as they are i think it won't be long before they go to top two or top three uh, crv holders so said that i am very excited about redacted not because it is a dao just because it is going to be very useful for people who want to receive bribes not only from curve but from all sorts of different protocols so the only thing we can do now is wait to see whenever hidden hand goes live whatever hidden hand gets uh deployed on redacted cartel and see how much are the bribes going to be if they're going to be substantial if they're going to be worth our time to invest to instead of locking our cvx or our curve tokens uh giving it to them and receiving the rewards and bribes and receiving the butterfly token and again if you believe we reached a bottom on butterfly then this might be a good entry for you because it might just climb back up but again not financial advice you should do your own research as i said uh, you can do you can go on dune you can see all the statistics you can look to see what the market thinks about redacted which is by the way one of the few dow tokens that didn't melt like 80 90 percent like time wonderland did even olympus dow is down by a bunch this is going to be it for today's video please if you got here all the way to the end of the video do me a favor like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next video which right here is from Monday through Friday. And I already appreciate you for joining us for this video. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video and take care. Peace.